Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I wanna save you some money today or help you decide whether or not to spend some money and go out and purchase some of the new Wise Sense products that they've released here. And they're in a pre-order right now, so you wanna make this decision relatively quickly. So here are all the details I've digested that I can bring to you. In case you don't know what Wise Sense is, this is a new starter kit that Wise is going ahead and selling. And if you don't know what Wise is even, well, this is the Wise Cam 2. They also have the Wise Cam Pan. And this is a $20 uh, smart home camera that can be integrated with if this then that and Amazon's voice assistant right now you can actually see the feeds on the smart displays and we know Google Home Hub integration is coming relatively soon as well so these are highly powerful smart home cameras for a relatively inexpensive price moving on to this new starter kit what it gives you is two contact sensors and a motion sensor or a PIR motion sensor that will both work in conjunction with something called the uh, Wise Bridge. Now the Wise Bridge is also included in that starter kit and the starting price for that starter kit is $20 US again. So it's matching right up with this Wise Cam 2. Now how does all of this connect together and how does it work? Are we talking about another standard Wi-Fi setup process here? Because that's what these Wise Cams are. Well, the answer is no, this is quite an interesting setup that WISE is putting out and they're really creating their own system here and I love the implementation and that's why I want to show you what's going on here today. So on the back of the WISE Cam 2 here, there's a USB port and really we haven't had any reason to utilize that USB port at all. So what they've done is they've gone ahead and created a bridge that plugs into that USB port. So that bridge is already utilizing the power outlet and that's the power outlet right there your power cable that plugs into the wall it's already utilizing that to power the bridge now that bridge has a 915 megahertz RF transceiver on it so it's able to send and receive packets from the motion sensor and the contact sensors there so what they're actually doing is utilizing a lower frequency communication and they're intended to have just one bridge for your entire home be able to communicate with up to a hundred different contact and motion sensors. Some other technical specifications here that have been released by WISE, 120 degrees up to 26 feet for this motion sensor. That is actually a long ways and gives you a very wide uh, field of vision or field of view there for a motion sensor. The contact sensor itself needs to be within two centimeters of, you know, or both sides of the sensor need to be within two centimeters of each other in order to read close Close. So it is going to need to be relatively close, but obviously you're going to be able to do that on a lot of door frames, a lot of window frames, and I can see myself going and putting those on a lot of those spots. The other thing that's important to note is that these systems are intended for indoor use only, but they do state a temperature range of 0 to 40 degrees Celsius, and you can go ahead and do that conversion for Fahrenheit. I'm Canadian. Sorry. Anyways, um, you know, the zero to 40 degrees does say that you could maybe get away with putting these outdoors in some uh, locations in the world, but you know, up here in Canada, obviously any sort of wintertime usage, you're not supposed to put them outside. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try it because I think I could do a lot with these outdoors and keep them shielded from the other elements that I think are going to be really the big problem here. How are they being powered? Well, these are little coin batteries that we see on most contact and you know motion sensors throughout our homes. 
that's what we're expecting and we're they're expecting up to a 12 month length of time for you to have that same battery in these devices and they're just attaching physically to your home through double-sided tape similar to other contact sensors that we're seeing they are only stated to have integration with if this then that out of the box here so there you're not going to suddenly find your google home and your amazon echo devices integrating with all of these different contact sensors that is not going to happen right out of the box that would have to be built through you know the amazon skill that wise has and in the future the integration that they have with google home just to give you a couple examples of how i intend to already utilize this system well you're going to be able to integrate it with smart things and there's all kinds of things you can do there so you could lock locks if you'd like to you could also cause triggers to go on you could cause your system on the smart thing side to actually start a, a siren or something like that you could also start other smart home cameras that work with smart things so that you could catch someone coming into a scene obviously you can already integrate with these so you could trigger multiple of these cameras to start recording and catch things from different angles if you'd like now what's interesting about that is really the pricing of this system when you look at getting two contact sensors and a motion sensor for twenty dollars and you start to compare that to everything else you can buy that works with smart things yeah it's not even close we're talking about a five to ten dollar pricing range on these sensors and so i can see a point here or i can see myself very quickly going and replacing or adding a lot of these sensors in my home and giving myself this capability along with the new smart bulb that they're talking about uh, with this Y system. So they didn't actually release the smart bulb, they're talking summer 2019, but I can see again, why would I use my smart thing setup? Now I'm going to use a Y setup and integrate it with smart things as I see fit. I'm headed straight to a recommendation to actually go out and purchase these. And if you don't already have wise cams, well, I love them. I'm using them all over the place in my home. And you know what, with this new capability and smart bulbs, which are coming from wise as well. And we know the pricing has always been very aggressive from wise. What I'm telling you is this is a good low budget entrance into actually automating a lot of things in your home so there you have it guys that's a full breakdown there are links below to go get yourself some of these cameras and if you want to purchase wise sense what you have to do right now is pre-order on the application that wise has so you have to have a, an account signed up through the application then you can go and purchase one of those uh, pre-order starter kits that they have they also will have other kits that they're selling, other expansion kits, and I talked about the light bulb a little bit here, but those kits are not yet available. The kits that they're showing so far right now is just a single motion sensor and then a four pack of contact sensors. So those will be very interesting pricing models there or pricing levels that I think I'll be looking for and I'm very interested in this new system from Wise. So I hope this has helped you really narrow down on whether or not you want to go and spend what I consider to be a relatively small amount of money on Wise Cam and the Wise Sense starter kit here. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.